At nine miles out, we began to smell the oil. At 11 miles out, we saw a visible sheen on top of the water. Heavy streaking was evident at about mile 15. Mile 26, we began to see solid oil on top of the water with a heavy sheen and numerous streaks at mile 34. Mile 87, ground zero. My first view of the site was one of tremendous impact. I'll never forget the scene. These are not small boats. While standing at a dock looking at them, they look like large ships. They're dwarfed in comparison to what I see on the horizon. Nothing but a red mass of floating goo that could have been prevented and should have been prevented. I was horrified when I looked and saw how many boats there were on the horizon that didn't seem to be doing anything at all that was effective. Going around in circles, small boats with booms on the back of them sent out to gather up oil in what looked like teacups compared to the horizon. We counted 30 boats in the pictures, all floating around while this stuff was headed for shore. Nobody seemed to be able to do anything about it. Uh, YouTube. Well, I'm not going to talk about the sun today. We kind of know there's something going on up there. Something big. Something they don't want us to know about. Well, my real concern today is that so-called oil spill in the Mexican Gulf. Well, well, well. They call it an oil spill. But I've been through all the footage. And by experience, because I once visited a refinery in Denmark, we have a yeah, we have a little oil drilling, but not much, just a little. We are most, mostly drilling for natural gas, not oil. But I have seen, smelled, and touched crude oil, and it's absolutely some sticky, disgusting stuff. You cannot get it off your skin if you get it on your skin. You need to use a solvent, yeah, based on the crude oil itself to get it off, like petrol, like gasoline or turpentine, stuff like that you can get it off with, but soap, no, it sticks. There's no chance. But I've been looking at those footages from the Mexican Gulf, especially the uh, deep water uh, cameras filming the actual tube and I don't see any indication of crude oil is pouring out of those tubes and the reason why I don't see it because crude oil is black it's black as tar it has almost the same viscosity as tar you have to heat it up in order to make it fluid and that's how they are refining it they're heating it so the different uh, types of uh, yeah I don't know products you use you know petroleum kerosene uh, oil for tires oil for cars and gasoline and all that stuff that they refine out by heating it up and then they filter it out because it puts itself in different layers when you refine it and then they can suck it out from there but back to those vents and that dr drill head they have down on the bottom of the Mexican Gulf. The color of it is brownish. There's even white stuff coming out of the tube. There is even yellow stuff coming out of the tube. So I'm wondering, the brown stuff, which also shows on the surface as this ochre, I don't know if you call it ochre in English, but this rusted iron uh, color is on the surface of the ocean and kind of the same color is pouring out of those vent down on the bottom and the yellowish well that's not crude oil either I know one thing which is yellow 
that is sulfur in its natural state sulfur is yellow there is yellow stuff coming out and the white stuff I don't know what that is that might be superheated water it might be something else superheated which emit a white plume but I'm very positive it is not crude oil they might have drilled for oil yes and they might hit oil yes but apparently they did a miscalculation because they're using the same technology as Harp is using when they want to survey what's down in the, in the, in the ground they're sending radio waves down and the resonance gives them a key to what's down there natural gas, crude oil or whatever they are searching for they can find cavities they can find all kinds of stuff with the same uh, technology as Harp is using so it seemed to me isn't it amazing they can be so stupid to do a seismologic uh, survey and then start drilling kind of knowing there is something else but oil down there there is a volcano down there and they just punctured a volcano and now they're coming in with their bright idea they're gonna cap it with some balloon stuff well that will be the first time in history of mankind that we cap a volcano there's nothing you can do BP there's nothing you can do Obama there's nothing you can do at all to cap that if it is a volcano it's gonna spew until its pressure is released and sulfur in our ocean and hitting the Gulf Stream being carried around the whole world yes that will mean disaster it will be disastrous and if it's iron ore the iron which is also released from this volcanic uh, vent the fish will die anyway not only just the sulfur but the iron itself will will uh, contaminate them and yeah kill them basically they will die of what we call blood poisoning because uh, rusted uh, iron is very toxic and uh, corroded uh, copper is very very toxic and many metals which is not pure metals they are toxic when they start corroding and it's not something you stick your tongue on unless you wish to die because it is very toxic but I don't see any evidence on those uh, footage, live footage from the deep water uh, submarine that shows that it is crude oil coming out of those vents it shows something entirely different it shows volcanic activity so there's someone who's here on YouTube talks about um, the revelation and one third of the sea will be uh, poisoned and the fish likewise will die of that and likewise men will follow because of yeah they drink polluted water they eat the polluted fish because they have to eat they have to survive because their only uh, food resource is a little scarce on the ground but mainly in the sea but now all that is gonna be polluted so it is not a disaster I would call it a calamity of proportions this earth has never ever experienced in recorded history if it is a volcano we are all in trouble but it doesn't matter where you live you will feel the effect of that there will be famine trust me famine worldwide because of this and then I think again conspiracy maybe they did it on purpose that's a very brilliant depopulation tool it looks so legit it looks so innocent and they didn't do anything it was just a volcano that works a little better than trying to implement a vaccine doesn't it because we already caught on to that but an oil spill at 3,000 feet deep what can we do you can just watch and hope for the best and pray that we will get through that that's basically what I have to say but crude oil it don't look like crude oil to me it looks like a volcano a very toxic one that's all I have to say God bless you